gout is a very, is a very bad uh, medical problem. And since you brought it up, um, men and women, we used to think that women didn't get gout, but we've now found, found out that, we, that they do. And I'm beginning to find out that um, the gout is more prevalent than we thought that it was. The gout comes, it is a metabolic disease that affects the joints of the feet, the knees, um, elbows. It comes as a result of too much uric acid being in the system. The way that you develop the gout, well, some patients have a genetic predisposition to develop it, but it is historically referred to as the rich man's disease. And the reason that they call it the rich man's disease is because people who ate a lot of beef develop a high uric acid level. Other things that can cause high uric acid levels in the Charleston area is eating seafoods, shellfish, shrimp. When you develop symptoms of the gout, it is one of the most painful diseases uh, that, that you, that's, that's known to man. It usually affects the big toe, okay? And it doesn't go away unless you go get treatment for it. Um, the treatment is very, um, very good, and within three days we can probably make it go away. But it'll come back if you resume the lifestyle that you were leading before you got it. Alcohol abuse will, um, will also precipitate it, okay? So what we try to do is uh, we try to control it by giving you medications that you have to take over a lifelong period of time. A lot of people, uh, the, the medical literature now is suggesting that if we don't control it, it can really cause other problems, particularly with the heart. High uric acid levels, and heart, there's beginning to be a correlation between high uric acid levels and gout. So we can uh, tell you whether or not it's under control by drawing blood and knowing what the uric acid level is. So, and we, we're beginning to see it more with people who are diabetic also, okay? So if you do have the gout, there's nothing to play around with. If you do have it and you have not had your uric acid level checked, you need to check it because the uric acid level can be high and you may not have any symptoms. That's dangerous, okay?